Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. Today I'm answering questions from Google about diving rebreathers. Most scuba divers, when they first start out, they start with what we call open circuit. So you have a cylinder of gas on your back that you breathe from, and when you exhale, the bubbles then head up to the surface. There is another method though, and it's called rebreathers. Not quite as small as in Bond movies or in Star Wars, but they do exist. So let's answer some questions. What does a scuba rebreather do? A rebreather simply recirculates the gas that you're breathing. It scrubs out all of the nasty bits, it tops up the good bits, and then gives that gas back to you. Because we only use a few percent of the oxygen that we breathe, the air that bubbles up to the surface when you exhale still has plenty of oxygen in it, so by recirculating it around, it's far less wasteful. Your rebreather analyzes that exhaled gas before it circulates back to you, and then it tops up the O2 with pure oxygen, and you only use a teeny tiny amount of pure oxygen for every breath compared to open circuit because none bubbles up to the surface. One of the largest parts of a rebreather is the scrubber. To prevent CO2 carbon dioxide levels from getting too high because you're exhaling, the gas that you exhale passes through a chamber that's filled with lots of little granules that absorb the carbon dioxide so that CO2 levels are kept low. This cycle then continues until you run low on oxygen, your scrubber becomes saturated, you get too cold, uh, the battery runs low, whichever factor is most pressing ends your dive. Can civilians buy rebreathers? Yes, civilians can buy rebreathers in most countries. I'm sure there's probably some countries around the world where you're not allowed to, but because rebreathers don't blow bubbles, the military tends to like rebreathers for their sneaky underwater stuff. You can't tell if anybody's underwater because there's no bubbles unless you have like sonar or a turncoat dolphin. So each military tends to have their own rebreather units that their soldiers use that aren't always available to the general public for the usual military secret reason things. They don't want that secret technology getting out there. But there are plenty of civilian rebreather units around. There's actually a pretty decent market out there for a whole range of different rebreathers from small chest mounted units and even side mount rebreathers to more traditional back mounted rebreathers for recreational and technical diving. But because they're a touch more complicated than normal scuba regulators, they do take some training and some require you to actually be trained on their unit before you can even buy a complete rebreather unit and put it together yourself. How long can you dive on a rebreather? It depends on a lot of different factors, but you can dive on a rebreather a lot longer than open circuit with a lot less gas on your back. If you have a full closed circuit rebreather and you use it efficiently, you're only using a teeny tiny amount of oxygen with every breath, so it's not unusual to last a good few hours even on a tiny cylinder. If you bring bigger cylinders and more scrubber, then you can extend that, but then keeping warm becomes an issue and it's always best to have an open circuit bailout to get you out of problems, so it depends on how much of that you can bring with you. This is why rebreathers can become cost effective in the long run if you dive a lot, because you're using gas much more efficiently, you're paying for fewer air fills and diving far longer, but yeah, two hours, three hours plus, not unusual for a rebreather. Can you get the bends with a rebreather? Yep. Uh, whenever you change ambient pressures too quickly, you run the risk of decompression illness. Rebreathers, though, do lessen your risks to a degree because they can tailor your gas mix that you're breathing to your depth so that you're breathing the most efficient gas mix at all times. Because your rebreather is analyzing your gas with every single breath and topping up the oxygen, it can give you a rich mix and it can let you breathe that mix down so that you're on, on gassing as little as possible and you're decompressing at the best rate at all times during the dive. This gets to the point where you can't use your regular dive computer unless it has a rebreather mode built into it. Most dive computers, they're set up for open circuit, so they assume that you're breathing the same gas mix throughout the entire dive, so they're gonna go nuts with a rebreather dive profile. 
While breathing a better gas mix will improve your bottom time and your decompression at every depth, there is always the risk of the bend or decompression illness should you do something wrong or even if the rebreather does something wrong, so do be careful. How much does a good rebreather cost? A good rebreather will set you back a few grand very easily. The cheapest new inbox rebreather that I've ever seen was the best part of five grand, and that's an entry level semi closed rebreather. It was kind of designed to be as cost effective as possible for new divers to get into rebreathers, and for what you get, that was actually pretty darn good. That included your rebreather. Uh, with all the electronics inside, the hoses, the computer, as well as the BCD, the harness, five litre cylinder, regulators. You put all of that together and you're ready to go diving. For five grand, that wasn't so bad. Once you get into fancier rebreathers, you can drop 10 grand pretty easily as you often have lots of upgrades and extras that you can bolt onto the base level unit to tailor it for your needs. But if you're serious about your diving, you can end up saving money in the long term with air fills, especially if you're diving with helium compared to open circuit. Rebreathers are not cheap, it's, it is one of their main downfalls. Five questions about rebreathers answered, but if you have any questions about rebreathers or anything to do with scuba diving, feel free to pop them down in the comments section below. And remember to head over to simplyscuba.com for all of the latest and greatest scuba diving equipment. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.